It's and hide fun. And, it's yeah. a fun. <laughs> it's a great cause, uh, Fort Smith Boys and Girls Club. So it's a good cause. Good stuff. I'm telling you, after working with Ruben, about a year. It's scary enough. Uh, he deserves a good imagine. I'm just saying. Uh, we're all thinking that too. <laughs> it should be fun. We're super excited for them. Oh, hey, yeah. uh, we're also excited for maybe a little more fall air on the way. At least temporarily, we're watching on this next front. This is pushing through northwest Arkansas, just about to get into Benton County. Uh, but we're getting some clouds right now. It's all attached to a system uh, well off towards the north. But if we turn up the sensitivity on the radar, you can see just a couple sprinkles right along I-49. We're talking about very small raindrops here, almost on the borderline of just a little bit of patchy mist. So some of us are getting the raindrops this evening, but if you don't see the green over your neighborhood, just watch out for a couple of raindrops as you're headed out the door. Maybe you're picking up the kiddos from practice or whatnot, but the heavy stuff is down way off towards the north, closer to the, the center of the storm system where the low pressure is. Uh, but the cold front extends all the way south into Arkansas and Oklahoma, every once in a while giving us a few of those raindrops. We have more raindrops though possible later this weekend. We have a series of cold fronts on the way. So we're getting one right now, We've got the clouds, couple raindrops. We'll have the next front coming in this weekend, and there's actually a front even farther out into the Pacific. That's going to come in the middle of next week. So we start to get these cold fronts moving through a little bit faster this time of year, and so we've got uh, kind of like a train of cold fronts headed our way for the foreseeable future. But right now, few sprinkles in northwest Arkansas. Some of them are trying to show up in the River Valley too, but otherwise no washout expected, no severe weather, no thunderstorms, just a few raindrops, and everyone though is getting the clouds. Those clouds have really helped cool us down this evening, and now we're starting to get a, a westerly wind for parts of northwest Arkansas. Still a southwesterly wind in the River Valley, when you look westbound in Oklahoma, though, those are northwesterly winds. That's where that cold front is. Eventually, all of us are going to switch out of the south and come out of the northwest, and that'll last through tomorrow as well, bringing in cooler air and eventually pushing out these temporary clouds that we've had. It was so sunny earlier this morning, right? But then 1, 2 o'clock, all these clouds raced on through. Here's a look at the timing of the front with these isolated showers. We're getting them in wrong I-49 in Northwest Arkansas and parts of Eastern Oklahoma right now. We'll probably pass them through Fort Smith and into the Eastern River Valley close to, to Alma about eight o'clock, 10 o'clock closer to Paris and Clarksville. I think by midnight tonight, we're done. This whole system pushes on out. So tomorrow's forecast going right back to where we were. Lots of sunshine. We'll probably start in the 40s, warming up to the 60s later into the day. Those northwest winds between 10 to 15, just making sure the humidity stays low. Just this refreshing wind is expected tomorrow. It's going to feel a little bit more like fall tomorrow, even more than so than the past couple of days. Past couple of days, we've, we've gotten kind of warm in the afternoons, but tomorrow will be a little bit cooler. That front pushes through, though. We get those showers out of here, drier skies, even by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Tyler Moore will be watching the showers as they push into Little Rock, but we should be done. More rain chances, though, possible later this week. We'll be watching our next storm system trying to drop a few showers Saturday and maybe even a better chance as we come up on Sunday. But the good news is that at least through this weekend, no severe weather expected. It's, it's honestly a weak system that's going to be headed our way. Notice after this front, we, we cool down temporarily and then we warm right back up. In the River Valley, we're headed back to the 80s, a few showers this weekend. But if you had to pick a day, Sunday may be a little bit rainier, though, than Saturday. That's rather early September-ish weekend coming up. It's, it's coming up. I know. It, back to the 80s, to think about the River yeah. Valley, uh, mm. but showers. But no, no severe weather at this time expected. So if you're so. going to some of these haunted houses or driving around to look at decorations, you might want to just bring the raincoat with just in case. Just in case this okay. weekend. It'll be spotty, too. It's not going to rain all weekend, so good. that's good news. All right, Matt, thanks. Well, Arkansas football, of course, heads down to Little Rock on Saturday.